Well, it's time now on the programme for our daily science segment. And today we're talking about Asian tiger mosquitoes. Now, as the name suggests, the species used to proliferate mostly in Southeast Asia, but it has been detected further afield in recent years in Europe, in Africa and even in the Americas. To tell us a bit more, Shirley Sipbon from our science desk is with me here in the studio. Hi, Shirley. Hello. Um, so tiger mosquitoes, they can transmit serious diseases, can't they? So let's start by looking at what distinguishes them from common mosquitoes. Tell us what their main features are. Well, they're smaller than uh, regular common mosquitoes. The inoffensive mosquitoes we used to use, we're used to complaining about those regular mosquitoes because uh, uh, they bite us and this itches. But these animals are far worse because if they carry a disease, well, these diseases are are really dangerous, as you've said. Uh, their features, well, they're basically if they're called tigers, it's not because they're impressive. It's because they have these stripes, these uh, white stripes on their black body, uh, and they're extremely small. Here's a uh, an illustration comparing a regular mosquito to our Asian tiger mosquito, and it's extremely small, obviously, uh, and it's proliferating, as you've said, but if it does not carry a disease, it is not dangerous. Another difference with a regular mosquito, it acts during the daytime, and it does not emit sound the way a common mosquito does. And why are we seeing it in parts of the world where we didn't used to? Is global warming partly responsible for that? It is. It's a combination of factors, global warming, also trade, because uh, we've been trading from various areas around the globe. And uh, these mosquitoes, they just can survive anywhere. Uh, and also, well, they can take about any type of condition. They, they can take, they can stand low temperatures. Their eggs do not die, even if it's freezing. Uh, they can take zero degrees. If it's warm, they're fine. If it's, if it's wet, they're good. If it's it's if it, even if it's dry, if there's a drought, they can still survive. So it's a combination of all these factors, and you've said it. Uh, they are all over the world, and now also in Europe. It's not just because we're in France, but France is one of the areas where they're really proliferating. And every year we see them moving to new areas, and soon they'll be all over the country and in various areas in Europe. They're not everywhere, but they're mm -hmm. progressing. So I suppose the real key question, Shirley, is how can people protect themselves from tiger mosquitoes? There are many ways. Uh, first of all, they can. Use use the nets we've been uh, seeing. Uh, these are some images of uh, a mother protecting her baby with these nets. Sometimes uh, some products are sprayed on the nets, which keeps the, those mosquitoes away. Uh, but there are also traps. These are scientists, and they're carrying uh, various traps. And these traps, they imitate humans. Uh, the uh, mosquitoes, even regular mosquitoes, uh, they feel carbon dioxide, which is like humans emit. Uh, there is uh, also like breathing. It's slightly warm, the temperature of a human. And these animals, they just these mosquitoes, these insects, they just get into the trap. Uh, and they're, it's uh, made with yeast and this sugar. And then there's just a system that traps them inside, and then they, they, they die. This is one system. And uh, of course, authorities have been calling on people uh, to try and spot these various mosquitoes so we can uh, we can know where they are exactly. And there are various things we can do, which are usually done in areas where they've been for a long time, like cleaning a gutter. And this obviously is something uh, for you, maybe a suggestion, this hat <laughs> net mosquito, uh, which is being sold uh, like for people who do camping. But there are many, many ways, many things to do. And basically, they want to follow up on their development so they can take measures. And even uh, across Europe, you have these traps and that's something that is done uh, more and more often to block their progression. And one last thing is that they rele they're releasing into uh, the various areas uh, sterile um, mosquitoes. And in that way, well, there's less of them. The population drops. Shelley Sitbon, thanks very much.